This morning, we're going to talk about dimensional analysis. And I've got some things written down for you. We're going to start with a very simple problem. We're going to start with a tablet. So you have prescribed 25 milligrams of carvedilol by mouth administered every morning for your patient. When you think about this medication, you see that LOL, you know it is a beta blocker, you know it decreases blood pressure, you know it decreases heart rate, and you know you need to check those on this patient before giving that medication. Also, you know that with this, a patient's blood pressure can drop. They might get orthostatic hypotension when they're first beginning the drug, so they may be a fall risk. So we have the problem, 25 milligrams carvedilol to be administered by mouth every morning to our patient. But the problem comes, we only have 12.5 milligrams carvedilol tablets available. So the problem is how many tablets will the nurse administer? Many of you may do this in your head, but if you need some help, and it's also great to check it, uh, it's a great way to get started with dimensional analysis. So the first step in dimensional analysis is you wanna put on the left side of your problem what you're looking for. And in this problem, we are looking for tablets. So as you come down and you think about it and you set up your problem, you see tablets equals to one tablet over 12.5 milligrams because that's what we have. And then you wanna put your multiplication sign and you wanna put 25 milligrams over one because that's what we have. Now in dimensional analysis, what you're able to do is you're able to cross out, as you see I did here, your milligrams, and because you've got it on the, for the numerator and the denominator of your problem, so you can get rid of that. And then what I like to do is I like to circle what I actually need. It allows me to think I don't need anything else added to this problem, because many times students add extra amounts of material that they don't really need from the problem. So we have tablet, that's what we want. We can stop here and we have our math, 25 divided by 12.5 and our answer then is two tablets. That's what we wanna give. So that is a simple start to dimensional analysis. Now we'll add on and we'll do a conversion in our problem. You could have done a conversion in a tablet problem. Maybe you had micrograms and grams, and you could have added that into that problem. So moving to the next problem, we have an IM injection. And the IM dosage ordered is 275 milligrams. The medication we have available is 0.5 grams in two milliliters. And your question comes, how many milliliters will you administer? Just as I told you before, you want to start on the left side with what you're looking for, milliliters. And so as you set up this problem, you have milliliters equals, you have two milliliters, and I always look, what do I put first? I look for what I am looking for, and we're looking for milliliters in our answer. So we have two milliliters over 0 0.5 grams. We have that as you see in our problem. And so I like to circle what I'm looking for. So once again, I circle milliliters. I don't wanna do anything with that. I don't need grams. So I look back at my problem and I know, oh my goodness, I have milligrams, so I've got to change that or convert that. Instead of converting that outside of the problem where you may round, double round, something like that, convert it in the problem. Once again, the beauty of dimensional analysis. So add in there, we can add times one gram over a thousand milligrams. If you'll remember back to your algebra, you can always multiply anything by one, and one gram over 1,000 milligram is like multiplying by one. So we put our conversion in here, and then we're able to cross out grams.
Now we also see what we have in our problem we multiply by is 275 milligrams. And we can cross out also that. So now when we look at our problem, we see milliliters is circled and that is the only um, thing that we have that we need. That's what we want. As you see, we've got milliliters on one side and we have milliliters on the other. So that's what we want from our equation. And then you just do the math. You have 550 milliliters over 500. You look at that, you finish that out, and you have 1.1 milliliters, which makes a lot of sense because that is something that we would give the patient. So I hope this is helpful. Next, we'll look at some further questions on another video. We'll look at a heparin. We'll look at an IV. We'll look at maybe um, just a simple uh, other question about how do we give uh, piggyback medication. So hope this is helpful. Thank you.